Hi everybody, thanks for watching. So just over a week ago, I was out doing this. And now today, we have this, white everywhere. But that's okay, it's that time of year. So today I just wanted to do a really quick video on one thing that's so simple, but also really important. I'm gonna dive a little bit deeper into the return to home function remote control on the Mavic Pro. Now there's a lot of different opinions out there about how it exactly works. And most of us who own a Mavic probably think we know how it works, and some of us probably do, but I think that new Mavic owners or potential Mavic Pro owners aren't gonna know this. And the biggest reason for that is this information is not in the manual, at least not at the time of the making of this video. So let's get to it. So like I said, about a week and a half ago, I was out on the water in my boat and I was flying the Mavic Pro using the active tracking feature. And what I did before I launched it from the boat, I changed the return to home location to remote controller. Now I've had the Mavic Pro for about 10 months and that whole time I thought when you set the return to home to your remote controller, it will return to you if you engage return to home wherever you were, no matter where you were, as long as you were holding the remote controller. And sadly, that's not true. It only goes to where you are when you set that home point. So wherever you're standing with the remote controller, that's where the Mavic Pro is gonna come back to. And it almost cost me my Mavic Pro because I set the home point to the remote controller at one location on the lake, and then I moved to a different location. The fail-safe return to home kicked in, and my Mavic Pro almost went down into the water. But thankfully, I stopped it in time and landed it in the boat. You guys can watch that video. I'll post it right here and I'll put it down in the description as well. So anyway, what happened is after I posted that video, there was a lot of discussion both on my channel and on mavicpilots.com about the return to home to remote controller function. You know, some people thought like me, they thought it comes back to the controller no matter where you're at. And some people even said, if you push the return to home on the controller rather than on the app, it will come back to you no matter where you are. And so I wanted to find out the truth for myself because the problem is this information is not in the manual. No, there's a section on return to home in the Mavic Pro manual, but it doesn't mention anything about return to remote controller. Now, when you set your home point to remote controller, it does tell you, it gives you a little sentence that says it will come to the current RC location. And even though it said that, even though that pops up, I still didn't really understand it. And that's why I thought when I was in the boat, I was gonna be okay because no matter where I went, the Mavic was gonna follow me. So what I wanted to do today is I wanted to test it out. And the first thing that I did, and most of us know this, you set the home point to the current Mavic Pro location. And it's pretty simple. It comes back right to that point, especially if you have precision landing engaged. The Mavic Pro is really accurate when it comes back home. And then what I wanted to do just to verify, I set the return to home to the remote controller. I flew around a little bit. I hit return to home. And one thing that happened quite a bit, I actually did this about eight times. Whenever I would hit return to home on the app, it actually crashed my DJI Go 4 app. Now, I'm not sure why that's happening. I don't know if it's because of my device or my connection or anything like that, but I have a strong GPS signal. I have several satellites locked on. And so I'm not sure why it's crashing my DJI Go 4 app. But anyway, I tried it a few times and I was really surprised how inaccurate it was. You know, each time I hit the return to home button, I was hoping the Mavic Pro would come back exactly to where I was standing and then land at least close to where I was. But the problem was, it didn't even get close to me. It was at least 15 or 20 feet away. There's two times where it was within five feet away from me, which isn't that bad. So then I tried it a couple more times and instead of using the app, I actually pushed the button on my remote controller to bring it back home and that worked fine. That did not crash my app. So I think there's something wrong with the connection between my device and the remote controller. I'm just wondering if anybody else has had any trouble with the return to home when you click on the return to home button on your app, does it crash your DJI Go4 app or am I just the only one? So I would appreciate it if you guys would go ahead and answer that poll. And so frankly, I'm pretty disappointed in the return to home to remote control option. It's probably not something I'm gonna use on a regular basis. And actually I don't use the return to home a whole lot anyway, but I just thought that you guys should know that information that number one, if you hit the return to home to remote control, it's gonna come back to wherever 
you were when you set that home point. It's not going to follow you. It's not going to go to wherever you are with the remote control. Now I hope someday that DJI releases an update that allows that to happen so you have a true dynamic home point. You know, we do currently have the dynamic home point for the Mavic Pro, but the problem with that is it's not dynamic to the controller. It's a dynamic home point to the Mavic Pro and it only updates about every 20 or 30 seconds. And so to me, that's kind of pointless. You know, it might be useful if you're using Active Track, you don't have the controller with you, and for some reason you lose connection. At least it's not too far away from where you are. But otherwise, I think it's kind of a pointless option. So I really hope that DJI releases an update that allows you to set it to the controller, and then if it does go into fail safe or low battery return to home, that it will come back to you no matter where you're standing. And I think that's not too far off. If not with the Mavic Pro, maybe with the Mavic Pro 2 if that ever comes out. So anyway, that's my video for today. Like I said, it's just a quick one. I just wanted to get that information out there about how the return to home to remote controller works because there's quite a few people from what I read that don't understand how that works. And I was one of them, so you're not alone, so don't feel bad. So I hope I provided some new and useful information for you guys, and if I did, please consider clicking on that thumbs up button, that like button that makes me feel warm and fuzzy inside, which I need on days like this. It's freezing cold out here and it helps you feel warm and fuzzy too because you're doing something nice for someone else. If you have any comments or questions or anything at all, go ahead and put those in the comments below and I'll get back to you within 24 hours. Finally, if you're not subscribed to this channel and you want to learn more about the Mavic Pro and you want to learn from other people besides me, go ahead and join this channel because I have a really interactive community and we would love to have you. I want to thank you guys for watching and as always, fly safe and fly smart.